Welcome back, everyone, to Recruiting Thursday here on the Westmoreland Sports Network. Jack Ridenour with you all today, and today we are joined by Penn Trafford, football player and baseball player, and recent Seton Hill baseball commit, Jacob Haynes. Jacob, great to get you on the show today, my friend. Also, congratulations Thanks on the big commitment. Me. Absolutely, yeah. Congratulations on the big commitment. I mean, how does that feel to make that decision finally? It feels great. It relieves a lot of pressures, and it's just to play loose now on. Oh, yeah, I'm sure that's going to definitely kind of drop the shoulders a little bit for you. and It's going to allow things to be a lot easier. Now, what was it that led you to wanting to decide on Seton Hill? I mean, what was it about the school and the program that led you to making that decision? It felt it, when I visited there, it felt like a good fit for me. The school is not too big and I'm kind of a relaxed guy. The academics are really good. The exercise, I want to get into exercise science and their program is one of the top in the state. And along with the bit culture that Coach Maz created, the winning culture, which I wanted to be a part of. Yeah, Coach Maz has done a tremendous job during his time at Seton Hill. I mean, like you said, I mean, the, the culture has really been winning. I mean, that's been the main premise of it since he's taken over the reins. Now, I know this past year at Penn Trafford, you were injured for pretty much the, the entirety of baseball season. So for you, how frustrating was that to have to watch your teammates, you know, compete from the sideline? And then in what ways were you still involved with the team? It wasn't really that frustrating well, because I got to watch them compete every day and we pr I was there at practice every day with them working and I helped them out whenever they need just help coach Miller and any other players and just watching them compete in the quarterfinals. It, it was really fun. Yeah, so from your point of view, like I said, you know, not being, you know, on the field every single day, what were some of the takeaways you had from the season and how the team played? And I know, like you said, going very, very far into the quarterfinal. So what was that like for you just to watch all of that? And then what were the takeaways you had from the year? It was awesome because we we're, we're a really young team. We're all, all uh, juniors and sophomores with two seniors. And the leadership from the two seniors was really good with them. And then the juniors stepped up a little bit and the sophomores – they played awesome the whole year, and I was pretty proud of them. Yeah, I mean, you guys definitely had a great collective effort from everybody. Like you said, from sophomores, juniors, seniors, everybody was contributing. But I want to go back to the injury that you suffered this year, and it was during football season that it occurred. So walk us through a little bit that play, just exactly what all went down, and then, you know, did you know exactly when it happened that you had, you know, broken your leg or had done something pretty drastic? I didn't, I didn't know what happened. I just thought I'd sprain my ankle when, cause I got twisted down. Like I was running a seam down the middle of the field. I got tackled and got twisted. I thought I just sprained my ankle, but they, uh, the trainers had to look at it and they I was just telling them tape it and let me go back in. But they looked at it, said it didn't look too bad and then taped it underneath my sock and over my shoe. And then I went back in one play and I couldn't. I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> and I yeah, that had, that, had been, that had been very frustrating, uh, you know, especially with, you know, it, with it being such a important game, right? Championship level game and a game that, you know, you want to be out there competing with your teammates. Did you know, like, so when, when that all goes down, and you have to come off the sideline again. In what ways were you trying to just continue to stay involved in the game, even though you weren't out on the field? I mean, what were you saying to teammates on the sideline and just trying to keep yourself engaged as much as possible? I was in it the whole time. I was with everybody on the sideline. I was uh, like just fist bumping the players, telling them good job, keep it going. And it was awesome watching them, watching everybody compete to that last second. Yeah, and I want to get into that season a little bit because I know how incredible it was at the end, obviously being ch crowned state champions, also section champions, so on and so forth. I mean, there's really nothing that you guys couldn't do this year on the football field. What did that feel like for you, you know, at the end of the year, that final buzzer sounds and you guys are state champions? What's going through your mind? And, you know, what, what, what were some points of the season that you kind of look back to and you realized, wow, maybe, you know, if that had not gone the way that it did, maybe we're not in this position that we're in today. Like the whole season was a movie pretty much from like first game at Norwin to last game at Hershey. Just felt like it went by so quick. And then the key points is when we lost two two games in a row, that's when we started to pick it up at practice. Like seniors held everybody more accountable and the underclassmen were working hard at practice every day, which helped us get to Hershey. Well, I got to say that had to have been such a uh... – 
nice cherry on top, if you will. Right. Really a great oh, yeah. moment to kind of crown it all and, and, and cap it all off. Now, the season ends and obviously you probably realized that you had, you know, a long road of, of rehab ahead of you when the season did conclude. What did that kind of initial rehab process and just journey back to full health look like for you? Uh, it, was, it was pretty long. I was in a cast for like three months and then was put in a boot and still couldn't really walk on it until April or like end of March. So, and then I've just been, I'm getting back to full health now through physical therapy and I'm doing pretty good. So what's the, t- what's the return table look like for you in terms of when you can be full strength, back to full contact, everything a go? Right now I'm playing baseball in the summer and Right now, I've played a couple of games, and I'm feeling really good. That's great. That's very, very great. Now, with football season, obviously, you know, on the horizon, are, do, I mean, and I know with your recent commitment to Seton Hill, do you think that you'll still play football this year, or are you maybe thinking about not wanting to do that? I mean, is this injury going to prevent that at all? Yeah, I uh, made the really – it was such a tough decision, but I decided to just play baseball this year. So when you made that decision, I mean, how much thought went into it and how, how long had you been thinking about making that decision? Oh, it was, a, it was a good, it was a long, long time. I thought about it, just like all the different possibilities that could happen, but decided that the best choice was to just stick with baseball and uh, achieve my goal of playing in college. Now, had you ever thought about potentially wanting to do both football and baseball in college? Had that ever been a, a, something that had crossed your mind or maybe an option for you at one point down the road or at one point during the, your uh, recruiting journey? I have thought about it like back in the winter time because I just I wasn't sure how it was going to work out with at each recruiting process. But in the end of the day, I picked baseball. So I'm, I'm glad that you actually brought up the recruiting process because I am curious with you know, you going and playing college baseball and a lot of showcases being, you know, you know, held during the summertime. And then also in previous years, you've had football during the summertime. So in yeah. previous seasons, what does that look like in terms of just what your summer schedule is and how often you're having to really trade and kind of share time between the two sports? It was a good bit of work each day with football, four days a week and baseball during the weekend on the weekends. It was definitely it definitely helped me take care of my body better and learn how to do that. So with you not playing football this season, I mean, what is now this upcoming fall going to look like for you in terms of baseball stuff? Are you going to be partaking in a lot of fall ball stuff with Penn Trafford and whatnot? I'm going to play a little bit of fall ball with Coach Lou and for school and then mostly be in the weight room trying to get bigger and faster and stronger. Well, that's great, my friend. That's great. Well, I definitely uh, very excited to see how you perform this upcoming year on the baseball diamond. Really appreciate your time today. But before I let you go, I want to ask one final question. What is something that you're looking forward to as you head into your final year of high school? It could be sports related, doesn't have to be sports related. What are you most looking forward to in your final year of high school? Um, just having a good time and like working on keeping my grades good. And then for baseball season next year, just have a lot of fun. Just play with my guys and see. Since we have an old team now, so we got juniors and seniors to help get see if we can get to states this year. Absolutely. Well, hey, a lot of exciting things on the horizon for you and the Warriors. Really appreciate your time today, Jacob. And again, congratulations Thank on your you. recent commitment. Thank you. 